Good evening, Kevin. Good evening, Kevin. <laughs> we are live at JTH Construction Studio. Where in studio tonight? Two members of the Cutters, yeah. semi-professional <laughs> football team. A little more, a little more semi, a little less professional. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, we weren't going to go. We were going to go that that far. Both veterans of the show for different reasons. Seth has been down here for Star Search for a couple of years, and Hunter was an original member of the Hogs of the Trough, where they said absolutely nothing for an entire season. <laughs> yeah. And then he was our call guy on our um, events, on our auctions, and then he just quit coming. So right now he's on probation. <laughs> Depending on how this interview goes, we'll uh, see what happens. Happy to have you guys in the studio. Real quick, let me go over my sponsors. American Basement Solutions, Larry Routh. One eight seven seven four zero nine two eight three seven. Fathom Real Estate, Teresa Mesmer, seven six five three four one eight nine one one. Drink of the Creek, Cedar Creek concert. There is not a concert this weekend. Miss Thunderstruck last weekend. Shame on you. Next concert is June eleventh. It is and Hunter, pay attention here. It's the boy band review. Gonna be there, aren't you? I will be there. Gonna have your in uh, sync shirt on, <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> and then dream, dream slice, and uh, Seth will have on his new kids shirt. So, mm -hmm. June 11th, boy band review and dream slice, and then in June 25th, it's Henry Lee and Melon Cougar. That's an awesome show. But in between, we have Trace Atkins, Lone Star, Diamond Rio, Big Country, and Rose O'Neill at the Morgan County Pre Fair concert. Cannot wait for that event. It's quickly. Uh, back to sponsors, Bland and Boys Long Care. They've taken magnificent care of my yard. 765-315-9656. Findhelp.org. That is Judge Williams' group. Get on there, look around. If you need help financially, uh, things in life coming up not going well for you, get on there and look around. It's an amazing site, and Judge Williams brought that to us. And uh, appreciate them being a sponsor. Had Mark Wayman in here last night. Wayman's Home Furniture Appliance Mattress. 765-342-4339. Stop in there this week. It's Scott Week out there at um, Wayman's. He wants people to come in and share stories. You're not necessarily going in there to buy anything. Just go in there and share share stories about Scott Wayman. Uh, met his mom and dad last night, and it's it's no wonder Scott was the gentleman that he was. The whole family is just magnificent people. 765-342-4339. Wayman's. Wellspring, 765-342-4339. Six 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 one. That's Bob Goodrum's group taking care of the homeless population here in town. Stids Comfort Air System, which is keeping it nice and cool in here tonight. Seven six five three four six zero one nine five. And last but not least, is our Hoosier Web Nerd. And I don't have number for you. Seven six oh three one seven six four zero four three nine eight. Hopefully, we'll have our website up soon enough. Gentlemen, football season, believe it or not, it's you guys are already got played a couple games, correct? Played one. So yeah, first of all, you got one. a new coach. Who's your new coach? Well, we have our same head coach who's Eric Anderson, but we've added a couple Eric of, Anderson that graduated IU? Uh yes. That uh, played basketball. Oh wait, no, not no. Our <laughs> our coach didn't go to school at IU though. But, but not uh, the Eric Anderson. But not the Eric Anderson. No. Uh, but we did add uh, you know, local hometown legend, Mr. Bob Denton, to the staff. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. So <laughs> He's probably listening right now. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Jimmy. Jimmy <laughs> so Bob's, uh, Bob's an assistant coach? Yes, he's our offensive coordinator. Really? Yeah. Yep. You got any tackle draws or uh, fumble rooskies put in yet? Uh, I mean, I've been trying to get one put in, but I can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, with your four nine forty, four four nine forty on a good day. Yeah. So Bob's Bob's an assistant. Um, did he does he still coach at Mooresville too, or is it just yes? Cutters? So he's double dipping. Oh yeah. oh yeah. So you can go right from Mooresville Pioneers to uh, the Cutters. Too. Yeah, yeah. Let they, loose. They've had some talent up there too. So, oh yeah, yeah. Some big boys that went on to D one. Yeah, especially the O line. Yes, and they had a couple guys go to Purdue. I mean, the tackles went to Purdue. Yes, they two did years ago. So Bob's a coach, assistant coach, and you guys have already had one game. Yep. First, how long have you been with the, with the Cutters? This is my 10th year playing. I was going to say, you were in studio originally, I think, with us downtown uh, when we were doing some of the games. 
10 years? Yes, sir. Well, this is my 10th season. Oh. <laughs> I started really young. I was um, funny. It was a funny story. Kind of like I was 19, you know, and I made some dumb choices in high school, you know, especially giving up the game of football we in high school. Oh, <laughs> and uh, I was working at Baxter Pharmaceuticals as a temp. Um, and I was working a mandatory overtime Saturday and I heard these guys just kind of talking, uh, kind of talking about like conditioning and like running and lifting and stuff. I was like, ah, it's just a bunch of fitness buffs, you know, like who cares? Then I heard them talking about like playing like games on Saturdays and, you know, beating this team and that team. I was like, oh, it's like softball, like beer league softball or something. But then I heard them talking about beating a team like 42 to nothing. And I was like, wait a minute. That's, that's not softball. That can't be softball. So I asked them what they was talking about, and they was talking about semi-pro football. And um, a guy named Justin Ferguson, who used to play, who knows Nick Land, the president of our team, he was the one that recruited Nick's me. president? Yes. And uh, he was the one who recruited me, gave me a date for um, a call-out meeting uh, my rookie year in 2013, and I never missed a function or event since. That's awesome. Hunter, this is your second year? Third year. Third year. I thought you retired. I thought you both retired. Yeah. yeah I, we both we, did. <laughs> and then we always keep come, coming crawling back. So you said you were retiring or waiting on the Colts to call. I don't know which yeah. one. <laughs> and that thing just unretires going to come first. <laughs> <laughs> Third year for you doesn't yeah. seem right, man. I know. Crazy. You, it just seems like it was just yesterday. Big 78 was uh, over there at Satterwitzville. I know. That is crazy. I mean, heck, we graduated on the day three years ago today. It was our graduation. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So, center? Yes. Right tackle. Right tackle. So, two offensive linemen. So, we're back to the Hogs in the Trough again. Pretty yeah, much. yeah, basically. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're Byram Short and, and, the one, and either Hunter or uh, who else was in here? Oh, no oh, bank. Yeah. yeah. Good days when you guys come in and not say a word. <laughs> All right, so um, you already got one game under the belt. How'd that go? So we traveled down to Bardstown, Kentucky, bur bourbon country. Since we're already there, explain to folks how you guys travel. Oh, um, so because, you know, because we pay to play and we have to buy our own equipment and everything, you know, money can get a little scarce. So we actually have to carpool or, or drive ourselves to the games. <laughs> so, you know, we have a game in Bardstown, Kentucky, which is like two hours away. So we just all hopped in the trucks, different groups at a time, and just get there as best we could. So it's make it if you can. Basically. Yeah. And actually, to be fair, back in my early years with the Cutters, we actually had a lot more money in the fund. And we used to take, like, chartered buses, <laughs> like like Wi-Fi, <laughs> air-conditioned buses. <laughs> See what happens when you show up, Hunter? Yeah. <laughs> and here recently, we've been, last year, I mean, we were packing to assess Caddy and I mean, we're knee to knee. I had no AC on my side, so I'm sweating. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a sauna in there. Yeah, that that was back in the day, though. And I've upgraded. I got a new truck now. So. Oh yeah. So, so you had one game in. You've you've you made it down to Kentucky. How'd that first game turn out? So we we ended up getting the win. Uh, uh, waiting on the XFL to call. Do he's calling? <laughs> What's up, boys? Hey, Danny. Danny. That's one of our that's one of our teammates. Is one of it's our right guard actually. So What's up, that's, Danny. That's the right half of our offensive line. Um, there you go. Uh, Diego Cutters Clayton is an honorary cutter. Yes, he is. Yes, we were there proud of his jersey, signed jersey. Did I see where a guy by the name of Daniel Kimbrough was playing on the team? I used to work with him. He's right yes, above us, just yeah. posted. All right, sorry. Oh, no, you're good. So, uh, like Gotta I said, have that fan interaction. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, so we made it down to Bardstown, Kentucky, bourbon country, you know, and um, we. <laughs> We uh, I might have some of that down here. <laughs> we got we got the ground game going. Having Bob as our offensive coordinator is just awesome. You know he he's two three yards in a cloud of dust though, isn't he? Is he hand off, hand off, hand off, hand off, or is he over? You know what? I I don't want to give away too much because I don't know if any any of our opponents are going to pick this up. But let's just say we are run heavy, a little more run heavy than he's we've a been. Michigan State offensive lineman. He's going to want to run exactly. <laughs> a lot of a lot of traps, a lot of powers, a lot of counters. And we love it. I was going to ask, is your offense more suited to the game now, or is it more of the old Big Ten style? And you just answered that, a lot yeah. of traps. Oh, yeah. But if you can establish that, you're going to control the clock, control the game. Exactly. And, and that's what we defense out. And nice. that's what we did. That's how we won the game. You know, we defense, our defense practically gave, gave them a goose egg. You know, they only scored on a 
on a yeah. fluke fumble. So our first drive, we drove all the way down to the A, fourth and like inches. I'm not even kidding you, probably A inch. Go to quarterback sneak, ball pops out, they pick it up, take it 92 yards to the house. Are you kidding and me? And actually, the game. play should have been blown dead. Because yeah. like he reached and it should have just been blown dead. Yeah. But they just kept it going. It's semi pro refs. Like, yeah. you know, we don't have instant replay. Hey, or anything. After watching some of the MLB umpires and NFL referees lately, anybody can do just Angel as good Hernandez. as. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's OP. That dude is horrible. But you got the W. Yes, sir. 22 6. 22 6, 1 0. How many teams? First of all, what is the division you guys play in? What's it called? So we play in a league called the BCFL. Which is known as the Blue Collar Football League, and that's a lot of the Midwest cities. Yeah. Yep. So Towns. mainly Ohio based. Mm-hmm. There's like two Kentucky team. Well, one Kentucky team now, uh, but Cincinnati, Columbus, um, Bardstown, Kentucky, and Indianapolis area. Now you used to have three or four teams out of in- out of Indiana from up north too. Are they still involved? Do they go to different leagues. There are there's there's some that are in different leagues. Yeah. Yeah. So like um. You have two Indianapolis teams, or three, actually. And uh, then you got us, which we've actually moved our operations to the southwest side of Indy. We're, we're no longer based out of uh, Monroe County anymore. Okay. Uh, we did that for, like, recruiting purposes. Yeah. Trying to get more guys in, like, central Indiana talent to come out and sure. play. Um, and then there's a team up in Fort Wayne, uh, the Fort Wayne Wolverines. They're, they're pretty tough. I remember that name. Yep. I thought there was another one up that way too that used to give you guys fits. Play you guys in the championship game a lot. Um, we lost to a team called the Thunderhawks. Maybe that's it. Was. In the playoffs, in a monsoon. If you were at John R. Wooden, I don't know. I was there. He, Hunter was there. He was on the sideline. I was in like high school, pouring rain. I was just sitting there because I felt bad and I didn't want to leave. I told Seth like half time, I was like, "Yeah, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and go home." <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting there like a sad, like a sad puppy, I'm just sad in the rain. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my shoes are basically ruined. So. Yeah. Oh man! So uh, let's uh, let's jump ahead. You win. Let's say you win your win your league or win your division or whatever it's called. You go playoffs and yep. you're playing one of the top three or four teams in your group. Yep. Let's say you win that. Do you play others other divisions or or is that it? Is that your Super Bowl? So we'll have like a league championship. There's there's four divisions. There's like a I'd have to look at the league page again, but there's like a red and blue division for each side. So there, there's like a there's like an east and west side the with west a red side. and with a red and blue division, and we're in the red east or e- red west side is what we're in. Okay. Um, and then what's a really cool fact is with our league, because of like its reputation and its history, if we go to the championship or if we win the championship, we get an automatic bid uh, through. I think it's called AFE or something. Uh, for a national title game in uh down in Florida, really? Yes. And and how many teams end up down there? Eight. Um, they have like different divisions. I don't know all the divisions off the top of my head, but I know that they play about uh five or six games. So pretty cool. That'd be uh, has have we made it that far yet? Never. We, we've never made it that far as as an organization. We there there's probably been years where they could have, but. A lot of those rankings and stuff didn't really exist in the early years sure. of the of the team. A lot of it is self funded. Yep. But you do take on sponsors. Yep. And then we'll get into that here in a little bit later. We're moving towards that. Um, how many kids from Martinsville play on the team right now? As of right now, three. You, you, you two, and Travis. Yep. Travis Griffey. Yes, sir. Travis Griffey. You guys remember that young man? He was a quarterback for Martinsville during Hunter's years. Uh, good kid, and he works a lot. You can get Byron to come out of retirement. He's good to go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so only three, but that's that's uh, about standard. It seemed like to be always two or three on there. Any, any of the other guys from the teams in the past on there? I know you had one kid, a linebacker from South, that was just a stud, but he'd hurt his shoulder. Yeah, well, he actually, uh, I don't mean to throw him under the bus or anything, but he uh, he snapped his leg in half in the last playoff game, too. Oh my goodness! Oh, it was it was it was brutal. Hey, I'm not trying to put any bad luck on anybody, but Kyle, if you're watching, it was just it was bad. So is he still playing? No, no, he decided to hang him up. He, is, him and him and a, kid. him and another guy on our team, they own their own lumber business, Tri State Lumber, out in Owen County. Okay. So they um, 
he he just said, you know, I don't want to risk anything bad happening to my business because of this. So. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, it's your own insurance. It's your own money. Exactly. And you get hurt. You get hurt. Yeah. It's. I'm not trying to dwell on the negatives of playing well, semi pro football. No, but I mean, I mean, <laughs> we just have to be aware. That's the reality yeah. of playing semi pro ball. You don't exactly. You don't get to go in the training room with nine guys looking at you, and you're covered by a multi million dollar business. You guys are out there. Playing for the love of the game. Absolutely. I mean, for lack of better words. Yep. I mean, you're not getting, Hunter, you didn't get signed for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you remember, uh, Mr. Mr. Football played for the Cutters. Israel. For, yeah, that's right. Israel did. There's been quite a few played. Uh, how many championships has the Cutters won? Three. But I thought Jim Allen was involved with it for a very long time. Health-wise, he had a step down. Yep. And uh, now he's got a, I played on the <laughs> Do what? <laughs> the general coach. Yeah. Yeah. Played on the Junior League Football Cowboys back in 79 for Coach Dick Quakenbush. Thinking about training this year, cutting out for Cutters in 2023. Jeff, I say go for it. Go for it, man. Go, go for we got it. we got some 40-year-old guys out there that are playing, man. Jeff's not 40. Oh, he's, he's not. Me. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, we have three players from Edgewood High School that played together at the same time in high school. Pretty cool, Daniel. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that would be uh, Danny Kimbrough, Josh Kimbrough, and uh, Chris Brummett. Which Chris Brummett is also a detective for IU uh, PD. Really? Yeah. So. So yeah, let's break it down. You got three from Edgewood, three from Martinsville. Where are the rest of them from? Or, or a rough. couple, couple guys from Bloomington South. <laughs> yeah, allow that? Hey, yeah, you know what? As long as they score touchdowns, we're cool right. with it. Yeah. You know. And that's uh, Luke Elger and Marquise Holt. Sway. Now you had a guy from Edgewood that played running back a couple years ago. Blair, he's yeah, talking about Blair. Blair. Is he gone? He yeah, is he, gone. He, he got hurt. Too. He also got a really and bad injury. Quick. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, we got. I think after that, high school wise, I mean, these guys were in. I think I was in elementary school, so thanks. I'm not too sure where they're at for, <laughs> so you're saying some of the schools that they went to don't even exist anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what grade were you in in 2013? Because that was my rookie year. Uh, I was in middle school. Yeah, see? He was eating paste in fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, who's the QB of the team now? Um, we started out with Marcus Johnson. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, we have four we have four other QBs on the roster as well. So we got Marcus and uh, Travis Griffey as well. Wait a minute. You guys said Travis Griffey was the what? What was the word? He, uh, I think he is our best utility player. <laughs> Mr. Do-it-all. <laughs> Mr. Do-it-all. Hunter, and your rebuttal, that was... Huh? You were you said your rebuttal to Travis being the best utility player. I said, well, he's not just the best. I mean, I, there's me too. So I said, they need me to line up, take a couple snaps, don't nothing the pick like skin. A, nothing like a line Travis. Up. Travis will literally go play quarterback, throw himself a touchdown pass, and then go play safety and punt the ball too at the same right. time if he needed to. The Kimball brothers are my granddaughter's uncle's great guys. Awesome, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I love Travis. Travis is a good athlete and good kid. So, all right, so you want to know, yes, when sir. is your next game? This Saturday at Satterwitz Field, June Your home 4th. games are here again, here yes, at sir. the high school. Yep. Saturday, June 4th. Unfortunately, we're doing our Shaves for the shave Brave. And, and we've got to, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, where'd you play your games last year? Was it at the high school? We played at Danville High School, actually. How'd that go? I mean, we went undefeated yeah. at home. <laughs> so, did you get a crowd though? Yeah, mm, it was kind of. Does Danville have a porch time up there promoting? I don't no, think so. Don't. <laughs> no. Well, I know. Like even mom was like, "That's just kind of too far of a." I mean, that's like forty-five minutes. At least forward. forty-five minutes. They can go thirty-nine and get there. <laughs> well, I never, t- I never took thirty-nine. Yeah, we took. <laughs> I took go two sixty-seven up to forty. I would, I would take, uh, I would take sixty-seven through Mooresville to two sixty-seven yeah. to Main Street. Turn left on Main Street, go to Cartersburg Road. Oh, by yeah, Brew Lake. Up. yeah, yeah, that's where I would go. Wow. So, but you're back home, yes, sir. And you're wanting some crowd. Oh yeah, football fans should come out regardless. Five five dollars to get in. Kids twelve and under are free. There you go. So, and we're doing like different kind of nights this year too. Like oh yeah, let me pull that appreciation up. Appreciation night, and then we have uh, there's a military night. I'm excited for hopefully you got old guys night where we can suit up play a play yeah, yeah. Uh, they said you're gonna take my spot for one play <laughs> there you go as long as it's a pass and no one's got me covered <laughs> yeah. gonna, I can drop back and be like woohoo I'm good I'm out of here let's see what uh... I don't even know if I can get down three point stance and fire back Heck, I, I wasn't last week I had a uh, not like a slip dick I don't know if or I'm a slip dick <laughs> family show <laughs> yeah 
Save the dates. Um, 6-4 is a home opener. 6-18 salutes of the service. 6-25 youth football night. 7-16 six, is Cutter Reunion. 7-23 fan appreciation night. Send me that. We'll do. Uh, and, and then at least I can discuss it on air. Not forget it because I'm old. Dan, we are at Martinsville High School. Sire what's filled. What's up, Tim? Tim, got, he, Tim's a new uh he's a new addition to the team. He's he's new to our offensive line. He's got his 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 name even says Cutter's football on it. Callahan football page. Okay. Yeah. Is he a lineman too? Yes. Yeah. He he actually moved here from Missouri. He uh he's played on some championship teams out there in Missouri. Really? Yeah. Welcome aboard, Tim. Don't listen to these two idiots. <laughs> here, that's what I, that's what I love about this organization, like uh, we've got guys who moved down from Chicago, yeah. got guys who moved up fr- or moved over from Illinois, Ohio, Florida, even DJ Clayton, our safety played in Florida. Uh, I think my favorite played part for Florida or in Florida, like in Florida. Well, do you know who Jeremy Finch was? I'll give you a, Sounds familiar. Jeremy Finch, the safety for IU played at Warren central. Mm-hmm who transferred from Florida. He's played semi-pro football as well, and I've played against him personally. Lee Beckton is down in Bloomington somewhere. He might have a good quarter or two left in. Hey, there you go. <laughs> we'll take him on a couple, like, one-yard dives right. or something. Um, He's still wearing the black, white, and red? Yes. Yeah, that's good so, But we're updated a little bit. So now we go through um, Reinhard performance. He makes our jerseys now. So now we got our all-black air. So really? Martin Martinsville Little League, uh, if you guys need new uniforms or something, he does. Well, wait a minute, for, don't they go through Super Sports? I don't know. I, I don't know who they go through. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to take away from anybody. I'm just saying, if you have uniform needs, yeah. you know, feel free to reach out to our guy because he's always taking right. care of us. Where's really he well. located at? Uh, uh, Castleton Square Mall. Okay. Um, oh, he, he played. He played with playing? Lee Beckton. He actually played for the Cutters. I, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, he was telling me a story about that the other day, actually. Seth is a great captain. Both these guys are real leaders from what I've seen on and off. So, what's up, Nick? How you doing, sir? Uh, Lee did play for the Cutters? Yeah, but it was probably in the earlier years. Yeah, so that's probably, probably where I got it. I remember, yeah. I, first of all, I loved him at Notre Dame. And then uh, he was working at a car dealership in Bloomington. <laughs> and one of the one of my buddies were down there like, dude, I ran into Lee Beckton huh. in Bloomington. Working at a car dealership, like did he play in the same backfield as Jerome Bettis? It was he. Their their backfield was stacked with guys that should have went to NFL. And yeah, wow, he had Big Daddy and the school bus back there, and and Lee Beckton and others, and it was just That's yeah. Crazy. You, you could hammer with Jerome, and then I think you had, I want to say Rodney Culver at one point too, and Lee Beckton, and then of course, I think taken. A championship away from him there. We also want to get into that tonight. (laughs) That's where it different. I'm I'm, I'm gonna keep this show civil, but yeah. And then Uh, Nick said, "I remember because me and Nick were just talking about this last week. We went to Hoosier Bar and Grill because sometimes they do karaoke on Wednesdays. mm -hmm. So we were, and he was telling me about him. He said there would be guys from the other team middle of the game like, hey, can I get your autograph after the game? We backed him. Yeah, Yeah, he'd be signing autographs after the game. He was unbelievable." Hey, uh, you know I ran into Anthony Thompson out at Cedar Creek. Did you really? No way. First first concert of the year. Huh. <laughs> yeah, ran into him out there. And uh, I was like, are you kidding me? Last time I ran into you was in 85, and you were running. We, we beat him in the club. We had to win our cluster to get the playoffs back then. And we had to go north, Terrell North, and we beat him over there. But he was only a junior. And I flat told him, I said, dude, you know you won the Heisman. I don't care what they say. He's like, ah, you know. Oh, wow. He's <laughs> such a good dude, yeah. man. Such a good That's dude. That's crazy. And he looks like he could carry a bumper. Well, you should have right. said, hey, I know what <laughs> no. team you go for. <laughs> you. Does he? And, I mean, he had a tight shirt on. I was like, dude, dude. <laughs> flashback, don't hit me. <laughs> I'm old now, and I am obviously not in any shape like you are. Because he, he, he could still carry the lumber, I bet. Oh, yeah. E.T., one of a kind. All right, so um, next next – your next game's home. Yes, sir. Who you got? Got the Columbus Gladiators. They were runners up of our league last year. Coming to the house. Yeah. That's right. They're coming to our church. The house the old Bill built. There you go. <laughs> you guys got, so you got game music that you played for the game or strobe so, lights? I mean, or sometimes. I'm, I'm sure we do. We have, I mean, I know they had Who music. Who called the game? Nick Jenkinson. Nick Jenkinson. Okay. He's part of our team. And he even. Um, 
He's he a does play like, by play guy. Yeah, he's been like he's done stuff with like Big Ten, and he was like he's done like announcing stuff for. He called um, he called IU women's basketball. Yeah. Did he really? Yeah. yeah, and he's done a good job. He's got his own sports talk page and everything that he started up, and pretty cool. Very he's got cool. A good, yeah, he's he's he, remember, he's a diehard cutter, man. We gotta love you. Years ago, you didn't really. Steph, let me know when the home games are. Clayton has plans this Saturday. We're gonna try to get te- messenger the schedule. Or yes, sir. Messenger one of them. I got you covered, Camille. Um. Yeah, I remember prior to the PA guy wasn't a very good show. I was there with you. Yeah, remember I remember mean, that. I went to a game with you because I had to. Yeah, I was up there with you. You ended up being the chain game. Yeah, I was up there with you, and all of a sudden I get a text, "Hey, we need you for chains." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. The only issue I have is that it's a long, long, long game. Fifteen minute quarters, man. Yeah, it's not. You don't realize how long fifteen minute quarters are. Imagine if we had TV timeouts. Oh, or... Yeah. We, we don't. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Fourth time timeout. <laughs> Kevin's got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, where Kevin go? I'm getting a Coney dog and a, <laughs> right. and a, and a Diet right. Coke at the concession, concession stand. Concession. Speaking of which, will the concession stand be open? Do we know? I I'm not 100. percent I don't I don't know the, the full details. Um, Nick, be... maybe if Nick is listening right now, uh, will our concession stands at Martinsville be open? Was that in the agreement? That should see what I'm sure. There you go. I'll play the guitar. Boom. Boom. Ah. It'll be a. Two man show. Yeah, who is would Nick Land know that or is yeah, that I think Nick would know that, yeah. Who do we need to contact? I would assume. I would assume Nick. Nick or the A D. Or the A D uh old Kip Staggs. Kip or the new principal would be Jeff Bell. Hmm. I graduated with. Oh, so. okay. There you go. And if anything, at halftime, I'll go out there and start flipping some burgers. <laughs> right there. If not, are they going to allow you to have a food truck or something right there? I think the we circle? would be. I think we would be open to having food trucks coming yeah. in, or at least have someone. I, I know Kona Ice. Yeah, someone something. would they they bring like a bag of chicken sandwiches or something right. heated, and they sell them for a buck or two right there at the at the end. I mean, I talked to him about trying to sponsor us, but he politely. Had to turn us down, but if he still wants to bring his Who's food that? truck, Mister Kevin Green. Oh, gather it! Yeah. So if you want to bring that candied bacon over, you know me and <laughs> me and Hunter would be over by halftime. To, Saturdays, he's out yeah, of Cedar Creek. I, I guarantee it. He's I mean, busy. What, what, what's your schedule? Um, uh, the home schedule. <laughs> yeah, do your home schedule. Would be what are you laughing at, Hunter? Billy's sending me stuff on from Twitter. <laughs> oh God. Um. Let me. I just saved the picture. Did I go? Oh, here it is. Uh, six four, six eighteen. Hang on, six four. No concert. Six eighteen. Uh, that's Trace Atkins. So that is. That's, yeah, that's a no go. Good. Wait a minute. You guys are at home the night of the Trace Atkins concert. Yeah. Oh yeah. That yeah. one's moved. I mean, we yeah, can't. We can't help the schedule. Might need to move it to a Friday night. That might be one where yeah. I won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> because that place is going to be packed over yeah. there. Yeah. 625. Might need to let Nick know that now. Food truck alignment symbol. There you go. <laughs> uh, June 18th, we have a massive concert. Trace Atkins. Hey, the right there at the fairgrounds, Nick. Well, if we have some music playing, we might be able to hear a halftime, a little halftime show. <laughs> yeah. Right. Out there, put a little show on, start dancing a little bit. <laughs> And then seven, seven, sixteen, <laughs> and twenty fifth. Oh. Did you say? Yeah, six twenty five. That's a concert at Cedar Creek. That's seven sixteen. Too, so I'll not be at that. Ooh. Seven, seven, sixteen. No, <laughs> you're good. And seven twenty three. Seven twenty three concert at Cedar Creek. So you only have two actual. Billy O's Pizza. <laughs> 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 so uh, hey nice. Billy O, if you do want to make. Some Strongs for the game. That, wouldn't that be that something? Be, sponsored cutters, sponsored by Billy O's. I mean, we'll we'll sponsor you. Billy Owens, right. some strong yeah, bullies. Yeah. I mean, why not? Yeah, I mean, we can sell them puppies for five bucks. There you go. I can't ever say I've had a strong at a football game. That's the most semi pro thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's always a first. Playing oh, semi pro yeah. though, you never know what people will have at halftime. Yeah. I mean, I can throw Tostitos in a bowl and dump. He runs <laughs> He's on here. He's got to be watching. I don't even have my phone on. That's that's not that's not good. Hang on, I gotta see. Uh, Brummett, there's Chris Brummett, IUPD's finest. Hey, doing Chris. Um, we get to our.
There we go. Yeah, I think it would be serve you guys justice to have some sort of food out there. I agree. For the people. And I think um, this year have like I am like like talk it up or whatever, but I think we'll have more of a crowd this year too. Because I mean, like my rookie year, the first year I played at Martinville for me, that's COVID. Right. So a lot of people weren't out and about and everything. Did you guys and... play last year at all? Yeah. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. You still had the games? Yeah. yeah. Did you have to wear the mask while you played? No. Mm-hmm. Nah. Fine, our our league, fine. our the league during the COVID season was, <laughs> um, pre, they just had like some some boards, like the board members all voted to just have the season. We were one of the only leagues that, to even have a season. season yeah, really. Uh, we were very lucky though, to right? play football. Yeah. yeah, very very lucky to play football. It was a it was a late start, uh, so it ran a little later than we wanted to. Like our playoffs were in like the first week of September, first yeah. or second week of September. Yeah, August. This year, our championship game will be like the weekend after Labor Day. Well, you got to thank everything up back the week. That, well, that's that oh. was with that pushback. Um, so you guys run the ball quite a bit. Oh yeah, um, big offensive line. Got some hogs. Up. Oh yeah, now, you two are not the biggest. Uh, I'm probably the biggest. Probably not in the. the I'd probably the second. We got. I, yeah, I'd uh, say. I saw a photo and I was like, "Ooh." Boy, well, dude. we got some new additions. That's what I was wanting to touch on a little bit, like. We got some Plainfield boys who just recently joined from playing Plainfield High School football like two years ago. Um, you, had a, you had a connection there. Yep. Yeah. And then um, we also got, um, you know, uh, uh, Callahan, Tim Callahan, who moved over from uh, Missouri. But um, like we're just we're just pretty heavy on the on the O line this year. I'd say we don't have. I th- I'd say we got more guys weighing three hundred plus pounds for the first time in a long time. You know. And when you're gonna run the ball. Exactly. Make a move. That's as long as they can turn a guy. Oh yeah. But can you air it out? Can you pass it? Do you have a pass game? If we need to, yeah. Decent yeah, receivers, yeah. decent QB. Oh yeah. Good. Yep. And like we, I mean, way- I mean, semi-pro. That's that's the that's the downside of it. You 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 know you're drawing in talent from all over. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> Bottle that would be brilliant. There you go. You're you're bringing in guys for you're pulling in guys from all over the place, and you got to ma- first chemistry's got to work, and then you got to take this assembly of men and go, okay, what do we got? Yeah. Um, we got burners on the outside. Do we have a quarterback that can throw the ball? Do we have runners? Or we've got six three hundred pound linemen. I guess what we're gonna do. It's the most simple thing in football is turn and hand it off. Well, I think we got more than six though. Last when I looked at the O line warm up yeah. during our last game, we got at least thirteen. At and least how, most, how's the defense? Solid. Tight. Oh, solid. solid. Yeah, very, very solid. Oh yeah. Uh, like I said, they eighty five bears solid. It, it would have been it would have been a goose Close. egg. <laughs> it would have been a goose egg had that fluke fumble didn't happen. Right. I, mean, I still kind of. I mean, it is a goose egg. I mean, defense didn't get ball. scored on exactly. Yeah, any former Mr. Footballs this 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 go around? I know you had Izzy, what and Travis on the running for it. Andrew's uh, uh, giving us some muscle. He must be defense. He, no, he uh, he tied in. plays tight, tight end and split in for us. He he caught himself a touchdown last season against the Natos in the uh, in the uh, last second game. Got to work that tight end over the middle. Those, those... Yeah, we have, we have... Oh, we've got we got two good tight ends this year. Yards out, boom. Getting the ball, letting do work. Actually, one of our tight ends we played against he played Bloomington North. He played D line, so I got played against him. Before. Really? Yeah. Huh. That's pretty, cool. That's pretty cool. And he played uh college football at Marion. Yeah. So. So there's some talent out there on the. Court. Oh yeah, oh, we got a couple Hanover guys out there. It's we're we're pretty deep in talent. So we got fifty. Pro is just crazy. It's it, I mean, all different kinds of people. I mean, half my best buddies now are ten years older than me. And I know because of this. Well, you you hung around an older crowd anyway because <laughs> yeah. of the, you know your your pops oh, and yeah. hanging around all of us. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Richard? Very cool. Sounds like that uh, the program's on the upswing. Oh yeah, I, I know that it was high for a while and then it kind of dipped a little bit, but for better things from you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hopefully, I I wish. I mean, I know you guys are base out of the west side of Indy. And I keep saying, man, well, you guys need to be based out of Morgan County and then we can make some hay with it. But you know what I mean? I and I'm it. not knocking where it's at. Trust oh, me. Yeah. 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 The strategic move is to be on the west side. You're drawing Avon, Brownsburg, 
Plainfield, Southwest Speedway, side of India. Yeah, everything up there. You've got tons of athletes. In Moore, Mooresville, Martinsville, because yeah. like we practice Decatur, in Canby. Decatur yeah. has some outstanding talent every year. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All good here, Richard. Hope all is good with you, sir. I had to get a couple of those guys that played D line when I was there. <sighs> Decatur, yeah, Decatur every year has got yeah, a whole, six four, three hundred pound offensive lineman that's a brick wall. That whole D line and all those linebackers that graduated, line graduated, all went to play college ball. Scott or is it uh, Tracy Brothers? Yeah, the Tracy. I, I, do I, they I, still I, have them? I think they're There's finally. I think, I think the last one's one finally more, yeah. And I think it's a cousin. You talk about a football family. Those I, guys. This stuff's been going on since I was in. Freshman. Yeah. I, mean, I remember watching. I was on the sideline dressing for the varsity against freshman. And I was watching these guys like, this dude's going to do one. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was more amazed than anything. I wasn't even yeah. watching the game. I was just watching him half the time. So I was like, you're, you're fresh. You're three years removed from high school. How much different is it? It is insanely different. I can, I mean, you cussing. Like, I got down with the Bloomington South game for cussing my junior year. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> We're not talking about oh. and what you can get away oh. with. <laughs> We're not talking about Hunter going there two game hangry, not eating the Snickers. We're talking about gameplay. Gameplay completely different. Yeah, it is just so much different. Pace of the game, what you can do. I think in high school we're all sixteen to eighteen range or however old. Some would be nineteen or twenty. 19, give or take. Yeah, you know, <laughs> new you new Palestine. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, new Pal for sure. But then you come to this, the guy next to you is um, kids and a family. Thirty two year old man has played I'm thirty like, years in the league, twenty years. It's just in the league. like a lot different. Yeah. But it's it's like cool hearing all these other people's stories and like how they're connected to football, where they came from, what they do. I always I always look at it this way and, and I might I have no connection. I played high school ball and that was it. But to see guys play for when I first got out of the army, they first started the Born County Broncos down here. And I went over and watched one of their tryouts. And they're like, Hey, you should try out. And I'm, always <laughs> I'm like twenty four and I weighed a, a buck eighty then. I'm like, you don't take buck eighty linemen, you know now then then. And I didn't want no part of it, but Everybody that was out there at that point in time not making any money, covering their own butt on their insurance. So there's only one reason they're out there, and that's for the love of football. Oh, absolutely. And, I mean, there's no prima donnas. There's no, there's no. oh, it's contract season. I'm going to go out here and score 20 touchdowns this year. So, to me, it it doesn't get the limelight. Of course, everything else does. But your, your lower level in baseball and all sports, sorts of sports, especially football, semi-pro leagues, and just like the USFL league, th- those guys are out there trying to get to the bigs, and they're yeah. busting their butt every play. They may not be the best, but playing for the love of the game, and you can't beat that. that. That's awesome to me. Love the game. There you go. Tim knows what's up. Ten years, Seth. I I, I find that amazing. Yeah, that's a long time. I mean, there, there's some guys on the team that's been doing it longer than me, though, you know. Really? So, oh, yeah. Well, Nick. Nick and Jay Key. Was Nick, Nick's been there forever. On the, I the start of the team. Yeah. Uh, I Nick think is Nick's, literally old enough to be my dad. I think, I think Nick's, Nick's my age. <laughs> He's the big stud linebacker, correct? If uh, the bald guy, yeah. 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 That looks like a young Arnold. He, 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 uh, don't give him that big of a head. Yeah, He's, I remember Nick. It's already no, hard he, to handle. Just <laughs> Yeah, Nick's put together well. You don't want him. You don't want to go across the middle with him. Well, I mean, up. I'm the one that trains him. I mean, <laughs> he's he's a scientist. It could be genetically modified a little bit. Oh you know? boy, practice is gonna be fun this week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, there's guys who've played well over ten years of semi-pro football. Two thousand seven. Drakey. Two thousand seven was the first That's year the crazy. Cutters. Yeah, and those guys were there from the very beginning. Speaking of practice, how does how do you go about that? And how hard is it to get, I mean, we all work, we all have jobs, we all have families. Yeah. Some of us do. I don't, I mean, they live all over the place now, but there's guys a little bit younger than me still playing. How do you get everybody together? Or does it happen? It really just happens. I mean, you just take the field pretty much on a Saturday and go, here's what we got. So, like, coming into practice, I mean, you really just got to work with what you got there. Stuff will get modified depending on what we have. But, like, recently, this year, we've had more guys at practice. 
Oh, easily. Because I mean, this is our have, this is our biggest roster. Can be. At, can be Land, yeah. Landersdale Road, okay. the Mooresville uh, Little League field. We've got thirty to thirty-five guys every practice. So is, who's the, who's the, who's the coach? Nick's not a coach. He still plays. He still plays. Yeah. Eric Anderson's who, our head coach. Who puts the game plan, plan in? Nick, Eric does. Coach yes. Anderson. Does, is there any scouting involved? Do you watch video of the other game? Uh, so it's hard to get film. So like, um, like a lot of the stuff we use to scout people. Look, is, look at that. Look. <laughs> there you go. All love, Tim. Appreciate it. No, Sorry, I don't have this guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to push him out the door yeah, with this. Yeah, there's, 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 there's some guys who who want to say that I bought my way onto the team or something, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, so he'll put it together. What was I even talking? About? Talking about game plan. You know, like game plan, oh, yeah, like, game and, plan like what so we got to do to adjust. So like, yeah, I mean, he'll put it together. We have a set game plan. And what we're going to do at practice when we get there. And then, really, you just work with what you got. But, I was going to say, coaching staff leaders, it's really a great community. There you go, Chris. So, basically, what you try to do more so than anything is do what you do best and go out and execute what you know to do. Mm-hmm. And the rest of it, you just got to learn on the fly yep. defensively and things like that. Yep. I mean, we, we only get two, two and a half hours once a week, you know. Is there a set limit on practice, or could you practice every night? We, I mean, there's not a set limit, but we know realistically because sure, of people's purpo- you know sure. personal lives. Um, we set it for Thursdays. You know, uh, it's closer to the weekend. Thank Every you, everybody gets Friday to rest up, and you know we set aside X amount of time for chalk talk, X amount of time for scheme, X amount of time for execution, mm-hmm. um, X amount of time for special teams. You know. And you just got to be on the hop and you got to be willing to learn, you know, as quick and as well as the coaches can explain it, basically. Uh, most times we're out there in just helmets only. We're not even hitting sometimes. And then do we get, get out there. Is, I cannot remember. Do they do kickoffs? Yeah. Yes. Do you actually have a kicker? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we actually have uh, yeah. Boomstick? Uh, Dre Atkins is his Play name. Edgewood. Okay. Played at Edgewood. And he, uh, yeah. he got a really good leg on him. Now, see, my thing is this. <clears throat> you couldn't do it every game. But especially the first game, you come out and onside kick every time because there's no video of you. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Nothing. And then the next game, you, you kick off. And But it's something. The other team, no matter who you play, hang on, I'm on air. I'm on air. <laughs> uh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's Diane and Patty. Billy's mom's out there. <laughs> I, they're here to pick up their stuff. We might have to pause for a minute. Where was I? Um, lost my train of thought. Oh, things like that. The other team has to game plan for. Yeah. Right. Up there in the corner. Yeah. Hey, we're live. Thank you. Hey, there's your stuff. We'll be done. Hey. (laughs) We're on air. Thank you. Oh, what are you doing? Not cussing. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done, Patty. What? We're almost done. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyway, I, I just I think that'd be cool to mix things up like that. But. Yeah. Right. Because like a lot of the filming get is off of YouTube. I mean, really? really? It really. So is. somebody's sitting in the stands filming it and then throws it in. Yeah, like yeah. legal put together film like they do. So this is cool because I mean we I've never seen it before. I've been done. I've, I've never seen it so before either. The league, the guy that runs our league, will go down. He'll get film from the teams and send them in from our huddle, and he'll break down what happened in the game. He'll show all the plays that where people scored, like some of the stats from people. Um, they kind of go over like, and they they do uh, coaches rankings, like leaders. They go through and rank them the teams every week, and then uh, I mean, like I said, a lot of the films just off of YouTube. You just got, That's awesome though. You just look them at up. At least you're and, progressing towards that, and you got something to look at. Yeah. yeah. So, and like one one other thing I can brag about, like we had a situation where we had like a weather del- or a weather bad weather game uh, week two. Yeah, and we were supposed to go play in Cincinnati. He never literally. <laughs> I, I just picked him up, truck. and I'm like, hey, we're on our way to go pick up some other guys and head down there. See, that's great. And yeah. I get a call from Nick, our president. He's like, hey, guess what? Uh, Commiss just canceled all the games. I was like, yeah. you know what? I can kind of appreciate that because sometimes yeah. in semi pro we would have already driven all the way down to Cincinnati. Waited it out, and then the refs would have said, "Like, yeah, we can't do this." And I'm like, yeah. "Really?" You know. Seth, if somebody wanted to be a sponsor of the Cutters, 
How do they get a they get a hold of you? Get a hold of Hunter. They can they can get a hold of either me or Hunter, or they can reach out to uh, um, Indiana Cutters Football on Facebook, mm-hmm. or we have a email address uh, which would be uh, cuttersfootball dot com or cuttersfootball at gmail dot com. Um, and then we also have we also offer like different benefits for sponsors. Uh, we have a uh, a sponsor letter. That uh, if I can pull it up in uh, all different kinds of packages, yeah. Hey, <laughs> trust me, I know. Um, there's like different kinds of packages. Like you can get, um, I know one of them. You can get an ad for your company or whatever business you're running. Like a certain amount of money. You get an ad that we put on our team website. We do have a team website this year. Cool. As a full breakdown of our roster, who's on there, what number we are, record, schedule, who we're playing, That's fantastic. coaches. I'm going to send this to you, Kevin. Okay. I'll post some of that stuff tonight as we go on, as I get on down the road here. But um, we just, we have different levels, you know, like we have a zero to $50 sponsor where it gets you like a a, a small space in our media guide. Uh, we have, shoot, what else do we got? We got lots of different variables for packages. 100, 100 plus, 250 plus, 500 plus, and 1,000 plus. There you, you know? go. With all different levels. And this all benefits. goes to support the team. Yes. 100%. Absolutely. What do you guys eat after the game? Um, hopefully. Whatever's we'll be, open. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know you guys used to go to TC. Tex- yeah. yeah. Uh, they were they were a, a good sponsor for us um, yeah. a couple of years ago. Um, we're trying to get a hookup with... Uh, Thanks, Wing- Richard. You too, sir. We're trying to get a hookup with uh, Wings Etc. right now, actually. So yeah, I can get down with some beer. Yeah. 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 So uh we, we have an email to them. Um not trying to put any pressure on them if they're watching. But Yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> Just kinda of keep it down. Cutters football. Oh. oh yeah. Well he's heard Dan before. <laughs> we're on air. Oh. Thank you. Oh, it's a family show. Oh hell. <laughs> That's Billy Owens' mom right there. Anyway, <laughs> showstopper. <laughs> hey, hey! Yes, they can. Oh, big man. That's a college basketball young lady right there. Anyway, we got a full house now. <laughs> Making a party. Boys, I wish you luck on your season, and I appreciate you coming in. Uh, you're a couple you... big boys, aren't you? Who do you play? Who do you play? Uh, oh, offensive oh. line. Ooh. Is that the you tackle? No, ma'am. We yeah, we tackle. keep people from getting tackled. We tackle. You gotta tackle. You're too big to run the ball. You guys are running back. Yeah. No, ma'am. No. <laughs> no. no. In my dreams, maybe. <laughs> He's maybe. Got... He's got, the, he's got the four or five X's on the side of his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the double stripe. The black stripes. Double stripes for life. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm seeing such a pretty girl here. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Beautiful. Yeah. Isn't she wonderful? She's my baby. Do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? I give up. Uh, Seth, Seth Mackin. Seth Mackin. Oh, is your mother Cindy? Yes, ma'am. I used to work with her years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Years. Yeah, at Grandview. A oh, long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. How's she doing? I, she's doing all right. <laughs> yeah, Mom, they're looking for her at the nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> That's Billy. Oh, uh. Uh. Oh, crap, I put up. Billy, you going to have to nip her in the bud. <laughs> hey, I'm going to have to come back because I don't have a big enough thing. I don't even have a you, big enough thing for this. Big enough what? Our things aren't big enough. <laughs> Hers is. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> we're going to end this. Hang on, we're almost done. Just hang well, on a second. Too big boys can help us. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 really. She keeps happen? breaking out. Yeah, yeah, trust me. I mean, they thought you was cuter, buddy. <laughs> Guys, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Keep us updated on your season. I, I can't Absolutely. promise you that we'll be out there this year. Uh, Cedar Creek and you guys overlap. I understand. Oh, wow. We're a sponsor I'll catch you at Cedar Creek. You better. You I'll, be there June, out there. I'll be there June 11th. Well, the two that were not uh, out there, maybe we can figure out something, maybe go out and go live the game or something. On this. Do, do like a sideline thing with the iPad. Hey. That'd be fun. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Get the post-game, post-game interviews. Yeah. Or in-person interviews. XFL. It. I don't want to sit up in the booth. I think that's 
Oh, I'm gonna get down there where the action's at. There you yeah. go. It's fun. Just make sure you get the audio down because if you want a family friendly show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any other matters. That'll be out of the window. First my show. <laughs> Lyman Seth Mac and Lyman Hunter Stout, part of the Hogs of the Trough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much he does not pay attention. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks for coming in. Fans, thanks for tuning in. Follow these guys, support them, and uh, see if you become a sponsor of the team, even something easy. So. What is tomorrow, Thursday? I don't think we got a show. We got a big show coming up this weekend. Do not forget, Shape of the Brave. We got a big 24 hour auction. We're going to try to get You'll you. You'll be on Sunday. We're going to try to get Seth in here to sing. All, we're well, Saturday, you want me to sing? Saturday night into Sunday. We're going 24 hours. What, what's just, for what's just Billy working? Midnight to six. I'll be here midnight. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll come in fresh. Come in, sing. Come in, sing. <laughs> sing we'll, we'll, be, we'll be in we uniform. We'll show up. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're going to end it. Love you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. <laughs>